welcome everyone this is sylvia linky and welcome to my channel today and um today we're going to be talking about stagnancy stagnancy yeah welcome welcome stagnancy is a kind of you know attitude whereby people don't move forward they don't progress forward they don't move forward they just stay there it's like a water that is pouring into a bowl and that water cannot flow like this again. Have you seen something that is some water? They say this water is stagnant. It cannot flow. It's full. It's muddy. Because of too much mud, the person cannot move. It cannot flow. So stagnancy is the kind of setback. Whereby the past 10 years, the, the place you met somebody 10 years ago is still the same place. That person is still sitting, waiting to be moved out from there. So stagnancy is a very big setback. So I call it is a disease like eating it up a lot of people now. You see somebody that you know like ages, the person is still stagnant. You see some is there anything wrong in trying out new things? I'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome right back. You know, one of the things that make people to be stagnant in life. It's uh, this honesty. This honesty is one of the things that make people to be stagnant. Because when people find out that you're dishonest, they don't want to do anything with you. So they decide that ah, I cannot be doing anything with this type of person. I need to move. That is one of the things. And dishonest person, you cannot trust that person. You cannot do anything worthwhile with that person. So that is one of the reasons that they stagnancy in life. And then we have what we call laziness and unforgiveness sometimes some people are so lazy lazy as in lazy that they will tell you if it's raining they say it's raining if it's cold they say it's cold if it's hot they say it's hot my dear it is so terrible stagnancy is a very bad thing when people are always telling you i cannot go out there they have so much bad mouth they can't say i can't go here it's hot it's cold is this is that laziness dishonest everything all come together a very bad you know way of living let us try and change this dishonest and bad attitude bad everything to things and then we do things as if i don't care so if i don't do this so what no life is not run like that we try as much as possible to do the right thing at the right time because if you're if you do the right thing at the life right time, you might be lucky and so just stepping into somewhere they are telling you, look, you are just in right in time. We have an opening for you or anything. So that is what I, the way I see this. Okay, I will be moving over to the sitting room to finish up this my discussion. Because the, the, the filming is like, I'm going to do it in two batches. So I will be right back. Okay, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome right back, please. You see, this honesty is a big problem of stagnancy. Another problem of stagnancy is laziness. Some people are so lazy to get the sleep hours. In short, to get up from bed is a problem. When they when they sleep, they don't wake up. They, they you have to knock and knock. Well, okay. Uh, so where are we going? Can we leave it for tomorrow? Procrastination and laziness comes together. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. You are just saying tomorrow, tomorrow. Which tomorrow? Tomorrow never finishes. Laziness. Ah, there's too much sun. Ah, too much rain. Ah, the weather is too hot. Ah, the weather is too cold. Ah, the weather is too... What is wrong? Know where they can get you. If it's too hot, you're complaining. If it's too cold, you're complaining. If it's raining, you're complaining. If they were, if to go and walk outside, you're complaining. Walk inside the building, you're complaining. But you want money, you want good things, but why? But why? Hmm? Another one is... Hey, sure, let me just advise you. Do away with laziness. And also, the third one is do away with bad mouth. 
Ah, this job, no, ah, uh ah, -uh. what can I, I can't do this kind of job. And eh, this, no, you will complain, complain from now to tomorrow. You will talk, you will say bad mouth, look at how this person is doing. You will say this, everybody is not good, nobody is good, you are the best. But yet you don't have a job. Yet you don't have nothing to show for it. You just come, you go out, you stand somewhere, you drink and drink and come back. Then the next time you go out, you find money, you lie, you scheme, you do all these things. For how long will you keep doing this? I want to just know one thing. For how long will a schemer keep scheming? For how long will a drunkard keep drinking? For how long will a smoker keep smoking? For how long? I'm not saying people, some people who drink and smoke, some of them are responsible, eh? But I'm talking about those who drink, smoke, and then they go outside somewhere and they gather and they play cards. And after they come back home, the same thing, the same thing, the same thing. It is all the same repeated issue everywhere out there and there and there it is just the same thing every day every time nothing is changing <laughs> and they are most of these people are disoriented they don't know where they are coming they don't know where they are going I told you that your beginning can never be your end you always have somewhere you are going just, just start from somewhere but disorientation makes people to be confused it gives them depression and also give them some of them end up in mental health it's such a bad issue we should deal with it this wrong thing welcome right back some of these people they waste a lot of opportunities lack of fear of god when the opportunity comes their way they cannot utilize it they waste so much opportunity they waste their time they, everything about them is a waste I told you about time is a waster. If you think you're wasting time, time will waste you. Five years ago, you, you keep doing this same thing. And then now you are 35, now you're 40. Or you are 40, now you're 45. Time is going. If you check the children that were born today, after five years, they're already in school. What are you saying? What are we not saying? It is such a terrible mistake we make in life. We keep thinking that we're doing the right thing, but we're not doing the right thing. The right thing is there to go out there and search. If you don't search, you don't get. I have a very short video that I said that five ways to excel in life. Five. You say be focused. Go out there, seek, find. And you will, I mean, knock. Any door that is open, knock and see what. Do you know that I have a friend of mine who goes to people's house from house to house. She knocks and she knocks and says, can I do anything for you today? And now she has more than seven customers she keeps going on. I mean, getting people to do something for. You can also do that. You can also do something. You can also go and look for something. Sometimes, I remember when I was looking for work. I have to look for. You look for, look for, look for. One day, it will, God, the Lord will make them the, 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 your opportunity to smile on you. To smile on you. Do something. Do something. Do not be a lazy person. Do not be a proscognitor. Do not be a, a, a mouth, bad mouthed person. Have the fear of God because that's where the wisdom comes from. And you cannot really survive without wisdom. The wisdom that comes from above is what can push you forward. Because in every of our ways, we must acknowledge him. And he will bring it to come to pass. Because in all this way, Sometimes people go into fetishness just because their time has passed. They begin to do some certain things just to make up time. But you are just killing yourself. If you're out there, you're thinking of doing something very, very un unholy, un uh, in a very terrible manner, just desist from it because it's not going to fetch you anything. Rather, it's going to destroy you and bring you down, put you to shame. Put you to shame. Okay? Put you to shame. Put away laziness, put off false life, put off mal malingering, put off this disorientation, put, put it out, put it out, bring in nice life. At this juncture, I want you to subscribe. Don't forget to like and drop your comments and say what can be done to help our disoriented people for those who their life are stagnant. Something should be done to help them. And what should be done is to, for them to have a 180 degrees turnaround. Thank you very much and remember us so much. This is Sylvia Link. Subscribe. Shalom.